Before designing a denture, imagine this, you're working with a map and if you don't know the boundaries, you're lost. So let's talk about finding the boundaries of our maxillary cast, what we call as the limiting structures. At the front, we have the labial frenum and the labial vestibule. These are mobile soft tissues, so the denture must be shaped carefully around them to avoid popping out during speech or smiling. Moving back, the posterior border is where most mistakes happen. It is defined by the fovea palatinae and the vibrating line. Go too short and you lose suction, go too far and you trigger gagging. So mastering this line is key to retention. On the sides, we trace the buccal frenum and the buccal vestibule all the way up to the hamula notch. That notch, that's a sweet spot for posterior seal and support. These landmarks form the outer boundary. In the next episode, we'll step inside these boundaries and look at the actual load-bearing areas. Comment cross-node to get free notes on this topic. Thank you.